Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this polynomial x power 4 minus 6x power 3 plus 5x plus 2 if the value of x is square root of 2 plus 1 divided by square root of 2 minus 1. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's focus on this part x equals to square root of 2 plus 1 divided by square root of 2 minus 1. And here I have copied it down over here square root of 2 plus 1 divided by square root of 2 minus 1. And now we are going to rationalize this denominator square root of 2 minus 1 by multiplying and dividing by its conjugate which is going to be square root of 2 plus 1. So let's go ahead and multiply and divide by its conjugate which is square root of 2 plus 1 divided by square root of 2 and then plus 1 as well. And now let's go ahead and multiply this top part and likewise we are going to multiply these denominators as well. So let's go ahead and do the double distribution. We're going to multiply these one the numerators. So that is going to give us square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give us 2 plus then square root of 2 and then plus square root of 2 once again and then plus 1 square is same as 1 divided by and in the denominator we are going to multiply these two binomials by using this a minus b times a plus b formula so that is going to give us square root of 2 and then square minus 1 square. So let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the numerator. 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 and then divided by this square and square root they undo each other we got 2 minus 1 square is simply 1 so we simply got 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 divided by 1 so we got simply 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 and now we can see that this part has been simplified to this 3 plus 2 square root of 2 so therefore we can write this x as simply 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 and here's our next step let's focus on this part x equal to 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 and here I have copy it down and now let's go ahead and move this 3 on the left hand side so we can isolate this radical part so we can write this one as x minus 3 equals to 2 times square root of 2. Now let's go ahead and square both sides. I'm going to take the square on this left hand side and the square on the right hand side as well. And now we are going to use this formula for this left hand side part. So this could be written as x square minus 6x plus 9 equals to over here if we take care of this thing 2 square is going to be 4 times this square and square root they undo each other we get times 2 so we got x square minus 6x plus 9 equals to 8 let's subtract 9 from both sides this is gone so our x square minus 6x value turns out to be a negative 1. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 1. 
And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, polynomial, this whole long. And here I have copied it down and now we are going to find the value of this expression. And now let's focus on these uh, two terms. Here we can see that we can factor out uh, x square. So if we factor out x square from here, we can see that we got x square minus 6x in the parentheses and then plus I'm going to leave everything as it is 5x plus 2. And now we can see inside this parentheses x square minus 6x is simply same as negative 1 from this equation 1. So this could be written as x square and then times negative 1 plus 5x plus 2. Let's simplify furthermore. So that's going to give us negative x square plus 5x and then plus 2. And now let's focus on this equation 1. If I move this negative 6x on the other side, we are going to get x square equal to positive 6x then minus 1. Now let's revert back our attention to this x square. I am going to replace this x square by 6x minus 1. So therefore this could be written as minus outside and then 6x and then minus 1 and then plus 5x plus 2 as it is. And now let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign. So we got a negative 6x plus 1 plus 5x and then plus 2. So if we combine the like terms, we are going to get negative x and then plus 3. But we know that our x value is from this part is 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. So therefore I am going to replace this x by 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 and then plus 3. And now if we distribute this negative sign, so that's going to be negative 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 plus 3. This positive 3 and negative 3 is gone. So we got a negative 2 times square root of 2. So thus the value of this polynomial turns out to be equal to negative 2 times square root of 2. So thus our answer turns out to be a negative 2 times square root of 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.